the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is an unalienable right that no one should take away. If we have any obligation as the United States Congress, it is to work to ensure that those unalienable rights are not taken away, as they have been time and time and time again by mass shooters with assault weapons, which is why we're here today. I just thought it was worth pointing that out. That's, that's what people legitimately live in fear of all across our country every day of the year. I yield back. Gentlemen, yields back. For what purpose does Mr. Gates seek recognition? Move to strike last word. Gentlemen, is recognized. So if people are in fear of their unalienable rights being taken away, we ought to encourage the restoration and vindication of those rights. If people are in fear in our churches and in synagogues, then this Congress should have the responsibility to abolish gun-free zones that make our schools soft targets. We should allow for uh, sentinel programs like we have in the state of Florida, where I think uh, 48 of our 67 counties have adopted measures to allow highly trained individuals to carry firearms into schools. And in fact, my colleague from Florida, from Broward County, his own county, has entered that very program. So the answer there wasn't taking well, guns away from law-abiding well, citizens. Yields. It was it was highlighting the opportunity to have a good guy with a gun in a position to be able to have well, the response. Yields. I have a few other points to make, and that, that I'd be glad to. Uh, also, I don't know that like the argument that Mr. Deutsch makes is responsive to the Massey Amendment. Like, if his argument is, well, we have to preserve the unalienable rights of life. Like, please walk me through the scenario where the Department of Education and the Department of Agriculture being armed to the teeth is necessary to protect our rights. I tell you what, Mr. Deutsch, I'll yield to you for the sake of explaining to me how an armed Department of Education protects those important rights we all care about so much. Well, I appreciate your yielding time. Um, the time that I asked for you to yield is, to, is for you to answer the question of whether whether the people who, who died in Parkland died because of a gun-free zone, whether the people who went to the parade in Highland Park on the 4th of July died because of gun-free zone, whether the people who went to Pulse, the people who well, went Mr. to a concert Mr. in Mr. Las Deutsch, Vegas, your own was it the gun-free zone that killed your, them, your or own, was it the assault well, weapon? Your <laughs> own school board believes that getting rid of that entity is a gun-free zone and allowing people You're to, to have guns question, to have Mr. there Gates, would be because helpful. You can't no, no, the that question. is the answer. And by the way, it's not the answer I arrived at. It's the answer that in deep blue Broward County, it, your own school board ar uh, arose at. So you all get to Washington and you have this fervor to take people's guns away, but the reality is even in your own community, your arguments are being rejected and you have no answer for the Massey there Amendment, is, which would, which would in turn, how about you claim time when it's on your side? But the Massey Amendment says, we don't want the Department of education to you, be able to that? have more arms than the people of our country, yeah. law-abiding yeah. gun owners, right? It worked in Uvalde, didn't it, Mr. Gates? Well, in Uvalde, it didn't work for the guns. cops, Mr. Deutsch. It was the cops who didn't go to work and didn't respond to that. So you, so you can offer the missives all you want, but when we actually wait and see the facts bear out and we see the way governments respond to them, we actually see these arguments being consistently rejected. I'll yield to you. The, fa the, facts, the facts, Mr. Gates, the facts are that time and time and time again, people are gunned down by assault weapons. That's what the facts are. They're not gunned down by gun-free zones. I'll tell you what, not a, tell no, you no, what no, Mr. Deutsch, a lot of people in Indiana that has ever walked into down a school and slaughtered the, school children. One of the very, the very rifle that was used in Indiana to ensure that more people weren't gunned down, you would ban in this legislation. So that is an example that we don't have to look like far I, in the past for. It's a recent example of the, the weapons you're trying to ban being used to save topic, and preserve life. The argument you, keeps you, shifting you, because there is no good response, Mr. Gates, to this to the I'm giving you the responses. You just don't like to the, them. To your, the own, your own that it, county that is, is responding Mr. by Gates, arming up teachers and volunteers. Uh, Mr. Mr. Gates, on a, Mr. on a day, you on, on a day. You take the time back. One at a time. On, on a day. I'll yield to Mr. Deutsch. Uh, on a day that the families of 17 loved ones sit in a Broward County courthouse, as they will do day after day after day, recounting what happened to their loved ones who were slaughtered by a shooter with an AR-15, the very idea that you are suggesting that Broward County has somehow concluded that it was not the man who is on 
trial for using that AR-15 to gun them down, who is responsible? But it is okay, some, I'll gen, my time some idea no one, I'll of a my time because no one's zone. making that argument, Mr. Crazy. Deutsch. It's the crazy. argument isn't who's responsible. Of course the shooter is responsible. <laughs> By the way, you're trying to make law-abiding gun owners responsible. You're trying to make the gun itself responsible. So we can all agree that the shooter is responsible in this case. The question is, what is the path forward? I would suggest the path forward is not the Cicilline bill that would make the gun that was used in Indiana to stop the killer and to save lives illegal, but the path may forward may be what your own school board members have adopted, which is allowing yeah, they, more guns in the hands of responsible are, people my, to save lives. My school lives. board members, Mr. Gates, did not vote to put AR-15s in their oh, they schools. They voted for the Sentinel Don't program. Don't suggest it. You're you wrong. In it, is, county, it is wrong for you to for suggest it. it. And that's why it's the time, law there now. And, and on I, this day in particular, the time when, of the the gentleman has expired.